I give the floor to the representative of the Americans for Democracy and Human Rights in Bahrain. Mr. Vice President, we would like to raise concerns over Bahrain's continuous discriminatory practices targeting opposition leaders and human rights defenders, holding most of them in prison with long sentences for allegedly committing terrorist crimes. Hassan Mushema, who was arrested for his leading role in the 2011 pro-democracy revolution, was subjected to physical and verbal abuse, including religious slurs. During his imprisonment, systematic medical negligence has led to the deterioration of his health. In mid-September 2022, he was offered his release under many conditions and restrictions, but he refused, emphasizing his right to unconditional freedom. Similarly, Bahraini Danish human rights defender Abdul Hadi Al Khawaja, who was also imprisoned in the aftermath of the 2011 revolution, has also been subjected to many violations, including being denied medical care for his several health complications and recently denied access to a cardiologist. In November 2022, Al Khawaja was sentenced on four different charges as a result of his protests against the harsh conditions in prison. We call on Bahrain to uphold its responsibility under the Durban Declaration to take on measures to end religious intolerance and systematic targeting of the Shia community and to immediately and unconditionally release Hassan Mushema and Abdul Hadi Al Khawaja. Thank you.